from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, October the 31st, 2019. Blue and White Party leader Benny Gantz met today with the negotiating representatives from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party in continued efforts to reach an agreement for a unity government. Gantz tweeted that he would do everything in his power to create such a government led by Blue and White. Gantz today also met with Arab members of Israel's Knesset, sitting down with leaders of the Joint Arab List Alliance, Eman Odeh and Ahmed Tibi. The Times of Israel reported that a spokesman for Odeh said that pressing issues for the Arab community were raised during the meeting, including the issues of crime and violence, building and planning, and general economic and political matters. He also said that Odeh and Tibi emphasized their support for a two-state solution. Lebanese terror group Hezbollah said its group fired an anti-aircraft missile at an Israeli drone that was flying over southern Lebanon today, claiming it had been shot down and then later saying it had forced the drone to leave the area. The IDF confirmed that its unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV was fired at but said the drone was not hit. Israeli embassies around the world were closed yesterday over a dispute with Israel's finance ministry. Israeli diplomats went on strike after they said the ministry walked back on agreements it had made, demanding now that the envoys return thousands of dollars that they had been reimbursed for for expenses. Various missions posted on their websites yesterday that they were forced to close over the ministry's breach of agreed-upon understandings. There are reports today that the embassies will reopen tomorrow with a 25-day period to reach an agreement. A high school principal in Florida who couldn't say for sure that the Holocaust happened has now been fired. While principal of Spanish River High School in Boca Raton, William Latson was asked by a parent last year about the school's Holocaust curriculum, responding that he had to remain politically neutral, writing to the parent, I can't say the Holocaust is a factual historical event because I am not in a position to do so as a school district employee. The Palm Beach County School Board voted 5-2 to two yesterday to fire Latson on grounds of ethical misconduct and failure to carry out job responsibilities. Some of the faculty at the school, as well as his lawyers, claimed that his words were twisted and they plan to appeal. Former U.S. Senator Joe Lieberman weighed in on recent remarks made by Democratic presidential candidates who said they would consider withholding U.S. aid to Israel over some of its policies. Speaking at the first Herzl Conference on Contemporary Zionism organized by the World Zionist Organization in Jerusalem yesterday, Lieberman said he feels that bipartisan American support for Israel is not collapsing but is changing. Referring to remarks made at the J Street conference earlier this week by presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders, among others, Lieberman said... What is most troubling about these statements is not just their, that they are challenging elements of Israeli pol policy. That's been happening in America for a long time. It is inherent in a free and open society like ours and in the relationship between two great democracies like the U.S. and Israel. The ominous and unprecedented factor here is American presidential candidates threatening to withhold American aid to Israel. That's something that shouldn't be done by the United States to a close ally like the state of Israel. German Chancellor Angela Merkel was honored this week by the World Jewish Congress with its Theodor Herzl Award, recognizing those who work to make the world safer and more tolerant for the Jewish people. In accepting, Merkel said that Jewish life in Germany must be supported and protected. And noting the recent attempted attack on a synagogue in Halle, she said, we must never accept the fact that people in Germany have to live in fear because of their religious convictions. We must do everything in our power to make sure they can live their lives free and safe, adding that anti-Semitism and racism do not begin with violent acts. It is much subtler. She said, we must make sure not to wake up only after words have become deeds. 
World Jewish Congress President Ronald Lauder thanked Merkel for the progress made since post-war Germany while urging that we must stand united against anti-Semitism, racism, Islamophobia, xenophobia, and homophobia. Lauder said we must fight the haters of every people and of all people, and it's up to all of us to take action now. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, October the 31st. At 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 8, it's Outspoken with Brooke Goldstein, looking at the BDS movement and its funding. At 9 tonight, Mark Golub sits down with the CEO and chairman of Im Tir Tzu to discuss fighting BDS. At 10, Professor Mordechai Kedar looks at the rise of Islamic terror. And coming up right after this newscast, it's Innovation Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, October the 31st, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader.